evening students today i am going to start a chapter from class 11th which is gravitation okay today i will introduce this chapter to you and we will start a very simple topic from this chapter gravitation which is kepler's law of planetary motion okay so before just i start this topic i must introduce what is elliptical orbit okay moreover i we can say that before introducing this kepler's law you must know the information some information related with elliptical orbit what is this elliptical orbit or what ellipse particular is that we must know okay when i am just introducing you ellipse this particular shape that i have drawn on this board is called ellipse okay we say this ellipse or just suppose in this orbit if something is moving around some other thing like this just suppose that our planet is this one this is our planet okay and this is moving around the sun like this okay then this orbit will be called elliptical orbit okay then this shape has some particular uh, properties that i am going to introduce you just suppose that this is ellipse this shape is ellipse and there are two things which you must remember about this ellipse first is this f1 and f2 these two points f1 and f2 are like centers of a circle but this is not a circle this is elliptical orbit or ellipse that's why this are these are not called centers but these are called focus f1 is one focus and f2 is other focus and combinedly these are called foci okay moreover these two works as a center for this orbit okay later on i will let you uh know that how this particular ellipse is drawn this ellipse is drawn particularly with the help of these two points okay but these particularly work as center for this elliptical orbit you must remember now see this if on this orbit i take just suppose two points one point is here this is capital a and other point is here capital b then it is quite clear that in comparison to other any other two points on this orbit these two points are the farthest iska matlab ye hai ki is orbit mein ye jo a aur b point hai inki distance sabse zyada hai to agar main isko ek line se mila do then this ye jo puri line hoti hai isko main major axis bolta hu theek hai what i say it is called major axis and this major axis is denoted by two small a okay इसका मतलब ये है कि इलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट पे जो दो पॉइंट होंगे जिनकी बीच की डिस्टेंस सबसे ज्यादा होगी उसे मैं मेजर एक्सेस बोलता हूं एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय टू एंड स्मॉल ए टू स्मॉल ए मोर ओवर देयर विल बी टू पॉइंट लाइक दिस सी और डी दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस पॉइंट दीज टू पॉइंट विल बी एट शॉर्ट एज डिस्टेंस इट मीन्स सी और पी सी और डी पॉइंट के बीच की डिस्टेंस इस पूरी इलेप्टिकल ऑर्बिट पे किसी और दो पॉइंट्स के कंपेरिजन में सबसे कम होगी सो so, अगर मैं इस इन दोनों पॉइंट्स को मिला दू देन ये पूरी डिस्टेंस क्या कहलाएगी इस पूरी डिस्टेंस को मैं बोलूंगा माइनर एक्सिस एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय टू बी दिस इज टू बी दिस इज कॉल्ड माइनर एक्सिस दिस इज टू ए दिस इज कॉल्ड मेजर एक्सिस दिस यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर अबाउट इलेप्टिकल ऑर्बिट ओके i have introduced you what is ellipse what is elliptical orbit now i am going to introduce you kepler's law of planetary motion okay first law of keplery uh, kepler's law of planetary motion is law of elliptical orbit first law is law of elliptical orbit law of elliptical orbit or this is called kepler's first law this is called kepler's first law also first law okay 
then what this first law says this first law says all planets around the sun move in an elliptical orbit having sun at any of the one foci okay it means i am writing it this is all planets planets move around the sun move around the sun in an elliptical orbit in an elliptical orbit having sun having the sun at any of any of the two foci two foci it means i have drawn this orbit इसका मतलब ये है इस फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट का और फर्स्ट लॉ का कि सारे के सारे जो प्लेनेट हैं व्हाट आर द प्लेनेट्स अराउंड द सन विच आर मूविंग अर्थ वीनस सैटर्न जुपिटर मार्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा ऑल प्लेनेट्स ऑल प्लेनेट्स मूव अराउंड द सन इन इलेक्ट्रिकल ऑर्बिट जस्ट सपोज दैट इट इज आवर सन यहां पर मान लीजिए हमारा सन है तो सारे के सारे प्लेनेट ऐसे करके मूव करते हैं इलेक्ट्रिकल ऑर्बिट में ना कि सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट में दिस वॉज फर्स्ट लॉ दिस वॉज कैपलस फर्स्ट लॉ और सन कहां पे होगा हैविंग सन एनी ऑफ द टू फोकाई दीज आर टू फोकाई एफ वन एंड एफ टू देन सन कैन बी एट दिस पॉइंट और दिस पॉइंट ओके लेट से वी विल ड्रॉ सन इन लार्जर लार्जर इन साइज लाइक दिस ओके दिस इज दिस विल बी द सन एंड दीज विल बी अवर प्लान इट मे बी अर्थ इट मे बी वीनस इट मे बी सेटर्न और any other planet okay this is the first law first law says all planets move around the sun in an elliptical orbit having the sun at any of the two foci okay this i have drawn whenever you are doing this question in your exam then you must draw this orbit when you are writing first law then in first law this figure has to be mentioned always and in this you will mention all these details okay moreover there are two important details or definitions as well just suppose this is my focus this is one of the two focus the point which will be nearest to this focus nearest to this focus on this elliptical orbit will be called perihelion okay just suppose this is f2 this is b point then nearest point nearest point of a focus of a focus on an elliptical orbit on an elliptical orbit is called perihelion is called perihelion okay and the farthest point and the farthest point farthest point is called aphelion is called aphelion okay this is called aphelion it means for f2 that is for f2 b is b is perihelion perihelion and capital a is aphelion is aphelion okay you must remember these two points as well okay then first law has been done this is first law now we come to second law okay now second law is law of area we say second law law of area okay according to this law or this law states that this law states that a vector joining the sun to any of the planet a vector joining the sun to any 
any of the planet any of the planet swaps out swaps out equal area in equal time interval equal time interval okay this law states that a vector joining the sun to any of the planets swaps out equal area and equal time interval just suppose that it is a vector which is joining the planet to the sun okay this is the vector which is joining sun to the planet this vector particularly will complete equal area in equal time interval it means let's suppose this is covering this area in delta t times then on other on other side for the same time it will cover equal area delta t okay 